first up, sorry for your loss, Larry. Thanks, you know. But like I said at the house, me and Lanisha ain't been together for a while. Eh, how long's a while? We must have broke up like two months ago. See, there's a teenager for you. Two months seems like a million years. And we weren't together much longer than that in the first place. It was long enough to knock her up. And hey, that's what she said, you know what I'm saying? And like, she got around, so it ain't no proof of that. No, we can get proof. What is this about? What were you all morning? Your mom said you weren't home. I was with my boy Anthony. A study session? Educating myself on PlayStation 2. Anyone else vouch for you? His mom's. She made his breakfast. When's the last time you saw Lanisha? Yesterday at school. Did she say anything about someone wanting to hurt her? We didn't talk. Because like I said, we were not close. Word is you're a big prospect. School's been calling us since I was 13. Well, I imagine having a baby and the mom around your neck might slow you down a step. I'd have dealt with it. But did you? This morning? No. No way. We find out later you did. Any breaks we might have gave you here, now, they'll be long gone. I ain't had nothing to do with it. I don't even know what got y'all looking at me in the first place. What got us looking at you is how you'd be better off with the dead. And what's keeping you here is how broken up you are about it. <sighs> it ain't right she got killed. I'm saying that up front. But I ain't had nothing to do with it. I don't have nothing to do with violence. I play ball. I stay clean. Keeping your dick in your pants, that's another story. I get it thrown at me. You wouldn't understand that. Beat it. Can I get my stuff back? My cell phone? Downstairs at the front desk, we'll bring it down. Stay available there, slick. <laughs> 